Hello guys and welcome to the review of a new action camera Les Sports Livman C1 which seems to be quite interesting because of its features which I'll review in a while and let's start from unboxing to see what this camera is applied with let's get started The camera is made from plastic with glass front panel. You may have already noticed that the camera lens doesn't stick out of camera body, unlike other action cameras. A disadvantage of the front panel is that it becomes dirty very quickly. On the one side there is micro USB, micro HDMI slots and a slot for a micro SD. On the other side there is a button for switching Wi-Fi on and a button to lock the screen. Here you may see the size and the weight of the camera. The camera is powered by Umbrella A12S75 processor and Sony IMX078 sensor. Camera has 1.8 inches touchscreen, which is sensitive and pleasant to work with. Navigation is simple and intuitive. The camera has only two languages, English and Chinese. There are only the most essential photo and video settings. PIF setting means that you can take photos during recording video. You can do it either manually or set it to take a photo automatically every 5, 10, 30 or 60 seconds. There are also photo and video time-lapse modes and it is also possible to use this camera as a dash cam. You can control the camera via application on your phone or tablet PC, as well as use the camera to make live broadcasts in HD resolution 30 frames per second. The camera has 1050 mAh battery, which is enough to record video in 4K resolution during 1 hour and 15 minutes. It takes 2 hours and 30 minutes to get the battery charged. Here you may see some samples recorded with this camera. What I like about this camera is that the distortion is not so big comparing to other action cameras. Average bitrate of a video file recorded in Full HD mode is 35,000 kilobits per second. So, among the main advantages of the camera I can enumerate protected case with flat front panel, a cover for the pores, the possibility to make live broadcasts and small level of distortion. What I don't like about this camera is that the front panel gets dirty very quickly and it can be reflected on the video quality. 
There are no such settings like ISO and white balance for photo and video and also there is no gyro stabilization. So if you enjoyed this review, like it, comment it and subscribe to my channel to see more cool videos. Thank you for watching and see you soon!